Okay, welcome back uh, to this uh, Next.js and Strapi tutorial. In the previous video, we managed to create our entity types, so both the companies and uh, the jobs. Uh, entity types, as uh, you can as uh, on our entity relation diagram, as if I uh, increase this again for you to see um, the diagram. So we created these entity types, but we haven't created all the fields for those. And some of them, I mentioned that I'm going to come back to them later because they are um, uh, uh, they have specific specificities. And the first one of them is the slog. Okay, so the slog, basically the slog is. Um, uh, very important from an SEO perspective because uh, when you have let's say a job or a company um, the slog is whatever is added to the URL instead of adding the ID here uh, okay so this company in the database definitely has an ID but if you just add the ID here let's say company number three uh, then you lose from an SEO perspective because um, yeah, like three is not a, it's not meaningful, and similarly for for the the job itself. Okay, so if you look at the job here, you see this is this part of the URL is, is what we call the slog, and uh, instead of adding the ID, it's better to add from for, from an SEO perspective uh, the slog instead. So the slog needs to have certain properties that the ID has. Okay, it should be unique, and it should be uh, um. Uh, required okay so how do we do that in uh, in uh, strapi well it's very simple you click here you, you select the uid unique identifier and you give a name you give you see uh strapi already tells you that this is exactly the kind of things that you want to use uh, um, for slog so let's add the slog field and uh, strapi will auto generate the slog for you uh, based on another attribute usually what you want to do as you can see, for example, on this next year's version, is that the slog is more or less like the same as the title. Uh, Frontend expert tell me CSS guru, and uh, exactly the same that we find here in the slog. So Strapi uh, will allow you to uh, auto-generate that field on the fly um, uh, based on um, the, the value of the title of the job, which is exactly what you want. And like I said, it needs to have certain attributes of the um, of the, um, the, the the ID, meaning they should be required. OK, so that's why I'm going to add this constraint here uh, as required. And because of that, because it's linked to the title, we also need to make sure that um, the title is a required field. OK, so let's do that now. Uh, I'm going to go to title in terms of advanced settings, required field. Uh, unique field exactly it should be unique um, and I think that's it right so it should be okay very good now we have added slog to jobs remember company also needs slog because I need to save this so let's add the slog to the company as well so let me come here uh, and do the same thing here obviously we're going to link it to the name okay of the company so add slog advanced settings required field all right so finish and let's also add the constraints here to the name of the company required and unique very good finish and save wonderful okay so now we have added um, the slog types both to our um, jobs and our uh, companies and uh, as we did that we also added some constraints to the title of the job and the name of the company but that's not all the constraints that we need we need some more constraints and that's exactly what we're going to do in the next video thank you very much for watching see you in the next one